Hi everyone, Erin here again today, and I'm going to be heading up to the Great American Scrapbook Convention that's going on June 16th, 17th, and 18th. So while I'm there, I want to take some business cards. I'm going to be working in the Islet Outlet booth doing a little demo on um, how to make a card. So it's actually a make and take, sorry, it's a make and take, not a demo. So if you want to stop by the Islet Outlet booth, come say hi to me and make a fun little card. It's pretty cute. A fun little card. Here's my promo that I made here at the house. Yours might look a little different at the actual um, convention and you're gonna learn how to make this flower and kind of make a really fun little you know shabby chic fun card. So in the meantime I'm gonna bring some business cards for people that I meet and whatnot and instead of just ordering standard business cards and this happens to be my canvas core it's not mine it's just a general sales card um, I went ahead and I printed some off on craft cardstock right here. And what I did then, and I did some of them already, is I went ahead and I grabbed two different glimmer glazes, shake them up really, really good, and I just lightly coated them on this fun little flower that I found um, as a free digifile. And I just did this in Word. I just pulled up Word and I pulled up how, you know, there's a thing about making business cards and I added the information I wanted to on the side. It even gives you stuff to fill in. I don't want to do, th just going back to this, I don't want to do too thick of a coat because I want it to dry pretty thin, but I want it just to have a little something on the flower. Um, and so I just found this cute little flower as a free file and popped it on the side. And you know, cause I'm crafty, I got to glam it up a little bit. So I'm just going to go through and add a little bit of the green. And this green is called Waterfall. And it, I thought it matched really well to the color of the flower that was already on the paper. That's kind of a fun thing there. And then I have another one, and this is Plumera. And I'm just adding it to the inside of the flower, which happens to look like a little button. And so just to kind of finish it off. Not a ton, just a little something. You could do this with you know, markers, you could do this with all kinds of stuff, but I happen to have these and they work really well. So I'm gonna let these set now. I'm gonna show you what my finished ones look like, and all I have to do is cut those guys up. I did two versions. For all of them, I did the flower, as you can see here. Um, I colored the little petals and stuff. The first variation, I then went through and on my name and on all my information, I took the icicle version of the Glimmer Glaze and I went over and I put like a line and let that dry and then I missed it, the entire paper. But unfortunately, it's kind of hard to read my name a little bit because it's it's just, it's too dark. And it just didn't work very well. And so the second rendition, all I did is I took my mists, which I'm gonna do here in a second, and I just lightly like tapped the, um, the bottle as I opened up the applicator and I just kind of sprayed them. So there's just a little bit of something here and there. So it doesn't completely cover up my information on the card. So that's kind of fun. So that's what we're gonna do now. Most of this is dry. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake up the colors and I picked very light colors. I didn't want to go for super darks. So I picked like bronze, um, this one silk. I picked twinkle yellow. Um, sunflower, pink poodle, and one pseudo dark one, which is verdigras or verdigris or however you say that. So just shake it up to get it all going and then just tap the applicator around. And it's just enough to make a little bit of something on the page. Make them go, oh, she did something there. And you don't want to make it, you don't want to use really super dark colors because you're gonna end up covering up your information, your name and whatnot. And just splatter away. Make sure you get all, because there's 10 cards on one page when they print. I'm gonna make sure that you get all 10 cards with something on it. All right, so. At this point, I did use one darker color just to kind of offset, otherwise it's just really light. And I'm just gonna take a paper towel and just blot. Because I wanna kind of mute the colors a little bit. Just a bit. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna let this dry for a minute. 
and I'm gonna go through and then I'm gonna cut them up to the size. So my cards have, or my paper has completely dried. Everything is nice and good. There's a little couple of little sticky points still kind of on the flowers, but they're not too bad. At this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them down to size. So I'm just gonna go to the edge of the flower here and trim it off. And then the length of a normal business card is three and a half inches. So I'm going to flip this over, measure to three and a half inches, and then cut. And there I go. Now I'm gonna trim the bottom of one of the cards. And the height of a card, or going this way, is two inches. So I'm gonna measure to two inches. So from here, they're just two inches a piece. So I'm gonna keep on cutting these to two inches, going all the way across. And there are my fun little business cards. Super easy. So just remember, three and a half by two is the standard size of a business card. I did leave the back of all my business cards blank because sometimes when you pass a business card to somebody, or at least when I get them, sometimes I'll drop myself a quickie note. Um, make sure to email them or, you know, possible connection or just whatever you might want to say. Card. I also want to give these to people so they could make comments on the back if they wanted to as well. You just never know. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to keep cutting up the rest of these. I'm doing the same thing, measuring this side to three and a half and then going all the way down, just trimming it up. And it's just a fun way if you want to make your own cards. I mean, obviously I'm in the craft industry, so passing out a card that looks kind of like I made it and I did. They're crafty. It just says something about what I do and you know I, I definitely could go through and if I needed to have 500 cards because I'm passing a ton out I would not do this but I don't need 500 cards. I just need a few to pass out here and there. This is my second conference ever I've gone to. I'm hoping to go to another one uh, to CHA and by then, you know, if I keep working little bits at a time, depending on how many cards I might need, then I'll have a few to pass out. So thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you can come visit me at the conference. Um, it is going to be June 16th, 17th, and 18th. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It is not a free conference. You do have to pay entrance to get into the floor, but I believe it's only like 10 or $12. And there's a ton of booths, a ton of things, and I'm in the Islet Outlet booth, so hopefully you can see me. So thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.